Welcome home to Scotland. <laughs> Okay, so we're now stuck in the snow. This time last week I was in 30 degrees in Brazil. I got to Edinburgh two days ago and I never imagined we'd see the snow. Uh, but see the snow we have because it's snowing big time out here. And I'll tell you what, it's freaking freezing! <laughs> the problem is, we've came up here and now the car's stuck. And I can't get out. I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, I might say that was a little bit stupid, but there we go. This guy's trying to get out. Look at that. How can he do it? Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. He's stuck. He's stuck. It's going backwards. Another guy in this big 4x4 stuck as well. Check out the guy in the 4x4 is also stuck. It's not just me. My god. Now we're going downhill, so it's all good. The temperature is minus 0 0.5, so it's pretty cold, yeah? I've actually done quite a lot of snow driving before. We are already out of the worst of it, because as we come back down into Edinburgh, the temperature's risen just a little bit, and it's not landing as much here, it's more wet on the ground. Hey guys, so as you saw from the snow last night, it was quite wild in Edinburgh, but uh, the weather could not be more different today. The sun's out, the snow's all melted and kind of back to normal, but um, it feels so good to be back home. I've just been kind of catching up with family. It's great to travel, I love traveling, but it's also really great to be home again. Um, I've been away from Scotland for about four or five months as I've been in Brazil. Scotland's my home and it's just so nice to come back. Even though I am suffering with the temperature because it is absolutely freezing. I want to go in town and see the Christmas lights and everything because they always make a big effort and this year they've kind of decked the whole place out with lights and everything so I'm gonna go into the city centre probably later tonight and check it out. Dogs have come out for a walk. Hey Shiloh, what's going on? What are you saying Shiloh? Yeah? <coughs> Shiloh? Shiloh did you miss me? What have you got guys? You mad? Come here. Three mad dogs. Another fight over it. My friends at Adidas have been producing some really nice Scotland shirts over the last few years. Uh, there are, some of them have been a bit wacky, uh, but the latest one is bright pink, and I think it's really cool. Check that out. I definitely want to get my hands on that new pink Adidas shirt. I personally think that's awesome. Not everybody likes it, but the home shirt is kind of tartan and it's a throwback to one that they produced in 96. And actually, I've just bought that. It's a shirt that I used to have when I was a kid and I loved it. I love tartan, obviously, so... You might remember this bad boy. Look at the tartan patterns on that. I absolutely love that shirt. I think it's absolutely brilliant. This was actually from Euro 96, which was one of a long line of unsuccessful Scotland qualifying campaigns. Sad times. But the shirt that was made for it, I think is absolutely amazing. It's probably my favourite Scotland shirt of all time because of the tartan. I think the tartan's superb. And it's great to see Adidas has produced another Scotland shirt which has got a kind of tartan on it. So, yeah. Thumbs up Adidas. Well done. And I'm really glad I've bought this shirt on eBay as well. It's a tram project which took so long to get off the ground here in Edinburgh. It's finally working, good to see. Goes all the way from the airport out to here to the city centre. Oh, I tell you what, it's cold. <laughs> 